All right, so everybody, I sent you an email about your retirement plan, but it's really hard to do. So here I show you what I've done in the past. I have my year, how old I was, my first salary coming out of high school, or high school out of college. Um, and then what I have is I have over here the percent saved, which I consider the most important thing. You know, how much of my income am I going to save for later? And then that re made that amount. And you guys notice, if I look up here, right, this is an equation, right? All this stuff is not hand calculated. And the salary, the only one I inputted is the 45. You notice everything else is going to be some sort of equation based on, oh, this black inflation number, which you guys got to do a little research on CPI. It says that in the email. The U.S. government gives us inflation. And this is a little bit what we talked about. 45000 was my first year salary. My next year salary is 46350 But it's not, it's basically the same salary, inflation. What I do do in mine, because a little ways into my career, in everybody's career, usually you get what they call performance bonus. You know, you're better at your job. About five years in, you know, and I took a bump here, I show a bump. And everybody just shows the savings as you go. And then it shows your age. So, you know, Again, and it's greatly based on this, what percent you can get, okay? So think about it. Your savings account number is, if you save 5400 and you make 7.5% on it, the first year it's going to be worth more. Now, I'm a little bit gracious here. I take 7.5% even though I save it as I go. Obviously, the next year you get the, you get the, the interest on the money from the, the interest on the money from the previous year plus the interest on the money you saved again, okay? And we'll graph some of this stuff, but this is what you got to set up until your retirement age, okay? So you take this as far as down as you have to go, all right, to your retirement age. Um, whatever number that is in your mind, or you can go as far as you want, and we'll figure it out, okay? This is going to take you a few weeks. Not easy, all right? But we start creating it, and then everybody's spreadsheet can be used, yeah. Well, okay, it's pretty easy. I have the savings. This one? Like, no, I'm not saving for money. All right, well, let's think about it. I'll, I'll even talk about it. It's the amount 5400 right, times 1 plus the interest rate. Okay, that's easy the first year. It's the second year that's kind of more difficult because it's this amount plus this amount, right, times, times 1.075 in this case. And everybody... I, I want to make sure you're clear about this so your spreadsheet works. Does everybody agree my bottom number here is about 1.7 million? Ish. Ish. If I change my interest rate, which I just have this first cell as a number, the rest is top. If I could get 7.75, which is the last thing I'll leave you with. If I could get 7.75% interest, 0.775, right? First of all, oh, no, I got it right as a decimal, 7.75 there. Instead of 1.7 million, I have almost 1. Point, you know, coming on 1.9. You know what I mean? A couple hundred thousand dollars more. If I could get 8% interest, 2 million. What I wanted when I first started saving for retirement, guys, my goal was 10. I'm close. I'm close. All right. You know, and again, the difference between Taking eight and taking ten is active management. All right? It's tough. And sometimes you don't get there. Anyway, this is your assignment. Keep working at it. I can help you. Yeah.